Hey Chami lovers, this is uh, the next tutorial on um, just after the installation tutorial explaining how to configure your basic items inside your uh, Camilo 1.11 portal. So this is the face of a freshly installed Camilo 1.11 installation and we're gonna see a few tricks on how to configure our portal. So in this case uh, we saw that we configured the English as the default language. We had the an admin admin account. I'm just going to log in as this administrator account. If I log in as an administrator, I directly go to the administration tab. If I am a student or a teacher, I will actually go to my courses tab. And this behavior can be changed um, if I want. It is, this is just a matter of administration configurations. Uh, so in this case, I'm going to go to administration. One of the first things I want to do, I'm going to disconnect to remind us of that, is maybe, maybe I, I mean, in most cases, I have a single language portal. Okay, so if I don't do international courses, I will want to remove that uh, language selection bar and just leave it to English by default. So there's a feature to do that if on the administration page I have the user block the courses block the portal block the course sessions block and a few additional blocks that we're not gonna see this time um, I go to languages and in the languages uh, list I can see all the languages every time there is a uh, nigh opened this means that this language is available to choose from uh, in the list by, by the users that connect to the portal in this case I will use this button that says disable all languages except the platform default what is the platform default it's actually uh, one of these items has the eye opened and a blue flag here okay this is the, the default language this is English in this case so I'm gonna select that button it's gonna load everything, it's gonna close all the eyes except the default language. So once I log out, I will not see anymore the language box, okay? So if I create a new account with the add user option, I won't see uh, the language, uh, other, other languages options that English, okay? So by default, it's gonna be the portal's default language, okay? And this leads us to the second step, which is basically, creating users and creating courses. Creating courses is the most basic step, right? I mean, you need to create a course to be able to give something to your users. So usually you first go gonna go to the uh, create a course option. Uh, you're gonna see a list of fields that we, you can define about the course. Mostly the title is the most important. If you have a specific coding terminology for the courses inside the institution, just use that code here. Uh, that's only A to Z and zero to nine uh, for the code. So you cannot use spaces, commas, uh, columns, and that kind of stuff. If you don't have any specific code, just type the title and the system will uh, generate a code based on this title and without spaces and that kind of stuff. If it's the first time you create a course, maybe you want to fill the course with demo content that will give you a few images to play with inside the course. And then you have the course access, the visibility of the course. If it's the first course you're creating, it's just a test, then leave it as hidden and no teacher and no student will be able to see this course. Okay, this is a admin only course basically. There are other options, we're gonna see that later on in other tutorials. Once you have created a course and the content, you can create a user, that's a that's the link here, the first the form to create a user, it's just first name, last name, email, uh login. You can use the, the, the email if you want as a as a login. Um, the password, there's a, a strength uh, check here. The bar allows you to see if the password is secure or not. And then you have to choose the profile. So the profile is basically learner or trainer. And then if you have a more advanced use of your portal, you can use human resources manager, session administrator, student superior, um, like the student's boss, and uh, an invitee, which is... Um, user that can enter some courses with special um, properties there we go so 
back to the administration list this is mostly the two first operations that we will do but we're gonna look a little bit more into the configuration settings uh, we're not gonna look at the plugins regions portal news global agenda etc this time we're just gonna go to configuration settings and analyze a little bit of this section so the the the, the configuration settings are split between about 20 different sections that allow you to well that allow us to categorize the settings in practical uh, terms so for example here the organization name let's say we're called business and if you save that you're gonna see that here in the title this changes okay so you, now it's called business and then my campus my campus is the name of the portal so uh, for example it's my uh, virtual learning platform okay try to do short but in this case just for the sake of the example you can see my virtual learning platform okay so if you want to rename that that item uh, for the users to quickly be able to locate your portal inside a list of tabs you have to think about what you're gonna show there right i mean you have about 15 to 20 characters that will be visible for the user so try to use them um, in a smart way usually the um, the address the, the, the email address of the portal administrator is actually the email address of the support team so let's say we say support at business.com and this will be visible at the end of the page here for all users to contact so here administrator john doe we're going to change that so by default it uses the name that we set for the the during the installation for the administrator of the platform but we can change that and just say support team something like that sometimes you have to play a little bit because you have two different fields so oh uh, yeah you have to reorder them and say support first and team after that and then you get <coughs> your support team link set up and so any user that will ask himself a question uh, that will look for support can just click on that link and his email client will be started to send an email to support at business.com you can see it in the lower left corner you can see the email address there okay so basically the settings all work that way so if you want to change the the looks of your portal you can go to go to the style sheet section and then you can select a uh, chamilo red for example uh you can have a new look for your the, the design you're setting up if you want to change the logo you can go to the update logo section but you need a 250 per 70 pixels um size logo if you don't that's that won't be accepted so just make sure you have the right size of the logo and as you can see in this case you, you have a color background so uh, maybe you want to s upload that as a png with a transparent background so it will be able to um, to show the background behind that um, if not you can just use the default camilla portal and this has a white background Ooh, uh, sorry still the old, uh, there we go so this is a, this has a white background and so you can actually um, put an image with the uh, white background and that's it if you want to upload a new style sheet you can do so here so you first you would first pick a style that as that is appealing to you just download it this will download a zip you open it you change whatever you like you re-zip it and you upload it here uh, in the button that says upload file um, in here it says it's in French because my browser is in French but uh, basically you, you can just select the file here upload it pick a name and then your style will appear here okay this is uh, the case for example here we have a previous style uh, holy is part of the the styles that will be available in 1.11 but I mean <coughs> here I just clicked preview so it didn't save the style if you want to try it that's the way to go 
sorry let's go back to the administration and maybe in the administration section you don't want to use the dashboard for example there are very few people using the dashboard because it's a, a little bit limited at the moment so if you don't want to see that you just go to configuration settings uh, maybe just search actually on the on the page for dashboard there we go and it says tabs in the header do do we want to uh, see the tabs these tabs in the header if you if we don't then we just uncheck one of these okay and maybe well actually the other ones are quite useful so just leave them and then once we reload you can see that um the the dashboard tab doesn't appear anymore it actually st it's it's actually still available so it will appear uh here at the bottom dashboard okay but it's it won't be like visible for most users okay so the users that are not administrators will not see this tab either the, the administration tab okay uh, one thing that i feel is very nice with the uh, version 1.11 is that you can actually set up gravatar so for those of you who don't know gravatar gravatar is a system um launched by the people from wordpress uh the, the company behind wordpress automatic and it's actually a a web service that allows you to generate random images that represent uh, any user on the system even if it doesn't have a picture so in this case you can see that we have like an anonymous shadow uh, for all the users so if you want to have uh, something cust customized for each user just go look for gravatar and then you have an option to enable it and then to choose a style of uh, gravatar I, I personally like the identical and then you can see that any user will have his own visual representation here if your users are already uh, subscribed to the gravatar service then their picture will appear there uh, if i for example if i go here in the users list i can see that the anonymous user has another image than the administrator user and if i change the the email i put my email address uh, here we'll see that <coughs> it's actually changing and putting uh, my picture straight away okay so this is this is actually getting the picture from gravatar and then uh, just uploading it here so this is this is it for the basic configuration that was mostly to show you the way uh, to the configuration settings there are more than 300 configuration settings so it would take a very long time to actually show everything but I hope this uh, short help will uh, provide you the necessary tools to investigate a little bit uh, more and, and research what possibilities you have of configuring the Camilo portal to your taste. Camilo, une solution business.